today we're going to be talking about hardware rivals as you guys know i participated in the beta i think i have put up at least two videos um i really really like this game i like the layout of this game uh the art style um so you get to customize your character pick boy or girl the two girl models two boy models i'm going to be going over a lot of details this is going to be a lengthy video i'm going to be posting this in 1080p uh so please watch the whole video if you have any questions they will be answered just watch the whole video okay i'm going to be giving out a lot of information uh so as you can see uh there is a leveling system in here they they have a stat tracker in here as well uh for all you guys that love kill death ratios they have that in here as well uh so uh let's see let's see let's see um there are two guy models the guy model i'm using right now and this is another one these two uh, guy models look completely different um and they have different skin sets that you can uh pick so uh that's up to you how you want to play i know that i like this guy a lot more um don't really like all his uh his colorings um this army one's not that bad though it's really not that bad but i like this one because it has the red on it okay so um we got that out the way huh? is it any is it any uh, more customizations there are more customizations for the vehicles you pick that i found out compared to the characters so far that i know i don't know what i might unlock throughout the rest of the game but let's talk about the game trophies and the price uh, the game is free for PlayStation Plus members. If you do not have PlayStation Plus and you want this game, it will cost you $20. So once again, if you have PlayStation Plus, this game is free. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, this game is $20. Uh, it does have a platinum trophy. It has a lot of trophies to be exact. Um, and it is uh, pretty much multiplayer only. You know, you got a couple little things you can play offline, but... It's pretty much multiplayer only. Um, as you can see, it has a very nice, easy to use uh, friend tracker. So all you got to do is push triangle as much as you want. And you can see whoever's online. Uh, this one does not let you know if they're playing a different game. Uh, but it does let you know who is online. Um, and it, if, you, if they're playing hardware rivals, it will also let you know that they're playing that particular game. Uh, so it's a good amount of people on today real real good amount of people it's a shitload of people um, Wow a lot of people on okay uh, so There's uh, two different types of four-wheel vehicles and two different types of tanks uh, This is the first one. This is the second one. This one's more reminds me of a buggy or something that I saw on MotorStorm uh, This one also, but this is more like a combat Jeep um this is the first tank you get okay from what i'm seeing is the smoothness of this game and it is running on an unreal engine 4 it leads me to believe that this game is 1080p 60 frames it's already confirmed that it's 1080p but nobody really know if it's 60 frames but i'm just saying by the smoothness of this game and other 60 frames per second games that you already know that i own and have played it leads me to believe that this game is 60 frames due to the smoothness of this title. Uh, but we're going to have to wait until Digital Foundry or the developer of this game, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment, by the way, uh, comes out and discloses that information. The second tank, I really like. It looks devastating. Um, every vehicle, whether the two tanks or the two, uh, the two four-wheelers, they have add-ons, uh, you know, like the, the front. You can see that this you can have boxing gloves on it or um, this one you have a garden what is this a satellite so there's there's a lot of stuff I don't know what the fuck that is um, on the side but this one's a little badass it got the bombs on the side and ammo and all of that other shit so it's it's up to you what you want as you can see you even have the rear well, you got more ammo, and then this one, this seems like a camp trip. Uh, so, it's a very fun, it looks like it's going to be a very fun game. Uh, you can also change 
your um your gun up there. So it all, it, it depends on you, how skilled you are. You gotta get better vehicles and better stuff. Uh, I think I want to use this one, so I'm gonna go to add-ons over here and see what the hell this says. It says knock knock. That's the grill, and then this is a uh, more of a Texas-friendly grill. So um, it's pretty damn cool that uh. There's so there's a good amount of customizations. I'm pretty sure there's this game is gonna be supported heavily uh, because I know a lot of gamers like competitive games, and this is gonna, you know, take it in a different direction. It's pretty much like a like Rocket League, but just very very super competitive uh, combat uh, in terms of combat. Uh, so we're gonna go play a game. Uh, like I said, the game's free for PlayStation Plus. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, it's $20. This game does have a platinum trophy. Lots of customizations. Uh, and let's just go see if we can just get in the match real quick. Stat trackers all over the place. Um, so if I did get a kill online with the laser, it would have told me. If I got a kill online with the rocket, it would have told me. Uh, and I think that's going to be helpful, especially if you're trying to get a uh, platinum a trophy or a particular trophy that has you getting a certain amount of kills with different weapons okay so this uh seems like a snow map uh we're on here right now don't know how good i'm gonna be playing like i said this is literally my first online game um i don't know what's going on right now due to the fact that i don't know where the fuck the people are this is my first time playing this map really like it though Oh shit. Oh. Did I, did I kill you? I killed you? Whoa! I got a trophy for the first time. Logged out. That's great. That's great. It was the game, not the network. I'm going to let this trophy sync up real quick. There we go. 4%. Might try to go for the platinum. Uh, remember, this is the first official day of the game being out. It came out late last night when the PlayStation Store was open. But this was that was actually my first round. I'm surprised I won that battle, though. He was shooting at me for a very uh, long period of time compared to me shooting. I normally never win head-to-head -head battles like that. But um, I think it might have been the type of the vehicle that I had. And the vehicle that I had might have had a strong, stronger sidearm gun than, uh, than uh, he did. But we're getting back on here. Hey, what's up, Starve? I'm playing uh, Hardware Rivals. Actually, it is a actually good game. I, I think it's going to be a very fun game. I definitely want to keep giving it a chance. I can't be guaranteed that they're going to give me the same match, but that would be nice if they did that. Hey, Starve, can you hear me? Oh, my mic's off. What's up, Starf? Hey man, what's up? Did you uh, download Hardware Rivals yet? Uh, not yet. They gave me the same map. That's a good thing. I just spawned in a different so that's location. The beta, right? I just, huh? I just update the beta. I, I think this this that's might cool. be a updated um, from what what it was. It definitely has a shitload more content. I just kind of reviewed a good amount of it. Oh, wow. That was not cool. I'm not going to win this battle. Am I? Nope. Didn't think I was. You know, I think it's really weird that since I downloaded it. So that dude's that. trying to kind of camp in there. He kind of failed. It said it I like that, it. um... Your PSN ID, a star. If you know your PSN ID and your picture is shown above your character on the game, 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like the game. I think it's awesome. We're clearly staying in the uh, game longer than the last time. I'm not going to cut this shit off. This is the first uh, gameplay impression. I'm going to definitely give it a chance. Nice big map right here. I like this Arctic map. Got a helicarrier going on over there. A heli chopper. Let's try to pick, pick up some weapons. Uh, good down oh no! Did I get that kill? Oh, I got that kill. out of here oh fuck I got another trophy by the way so was Sony saying that that wasn't a scheduled maintenance you say what 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 yeah, schedule mate you mean the day uh I think that was a DSN attack it's kind of fishy though that all of a sudden the PlayStation Plus thing is fixed. Like when you go to look for the free games, oh, they're actually listed. So, yeah, in the search one. You said what? I need, I need something difficult. Give me that damn shield. I need a weapon of some sort. I could use this health, but god damn, I need, I need, some, I need a weapon. That's my only missile. I'm just going to die and go with that. I don't know what this dude doing in here. Oh fuck. Why did I follow this guy? Fucking killed myself. I thought he was hiding in like some sort of a crater or something. These dudes rage quit. More games need a rage quit uh, system also. Stop people from leaving. I don't know, that might have been a scheduled maintenance because the store seems to have changed. Uh, when, when was that? What are you talking about? You talking about, uh... It was like three days after... What? After the new year. Not mess around with you, you wanna mess around all the fucking time, that's cool. Y'all try to run all the damn time. God, man, he killed me right when I was going to kill somebody else. I can see people maxing out this shit already, man. Like, I see that dude has some pretty awesome wheels. Hubcap. I just came back to life. Nope. How the fuck? Oh, my God. I don't think there's no way to get around that shit. They definitely gonna have to balance that shit out because I came right back to life and he caught me. Dragon Quest Heroes DLC. 
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Can I hang off this cliff real quick? No. Who caught me? Was it that guy? Yep, it was him. As long as it wasn't that tank or that uh, Ratchet and Clank, dude. We got about one more minute of this match. And it doesn't look like I'm going to win or even get close to it, but, um... Game's awesome. It's definitely competitive. It does have a learning curve. I mean, if you play Twisted Metal, I think we all get in that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I was coming right back off of that fucking wall, and that nigga was right there. Clearly, there's a power advantage with the tanks but if you can get to a power up it's not impossible to take those guys out plus they're slower than these uh than the four wheelers I got a power up right here I'm not gonna kill nobody in the next couple seconds so let's go right around here Yep, a tank guy won. Guy with a tank. And he was almost dead too. Shit looks fucked up. Okay. Got another trophy. And I leveled up. That's, that's good shit. Oh man, I like this. I got a reward. That's nice. I, I like I like the whole interface of this game, you know. Like I really like the whole interface of this. So I gotta upgrade, and I could uh, activate this. What is this? Quicker lock, faster pay payload delivery. Okay, really liking this. You know, I like the I, like I said, I love the art style, love the interface. It's a real nice game. Um. See that as soon as like somebody's in your party and on online with the game, you can see it right there. You can see Starve. We already know Starve entered the party chat not too long ago, and uh, you know you can see that he has his headset and everything. That's cool shit, man. Really like this game.